Uh, I'm going to stick with just the traditional pickup. I feel like Newbie, they kind of did everything they needed to. I thought that Dusa was a perfect pickup in the four. I thought the Pugna, which we identified early in the draft, I think that is really well set up, both like, with the ET. He doesn't really have to commit himself heavily to push into your base. So do you feel like Newbie are on a timer this one, or does the Medusa give them late game? Uh, I think... <laughs> I feel like Medusa gives them like him as the three man reflection is going to fly out. Oh, yeah. But can they just follow something with the cast? But they're too split up. Like, Yaps is like, I got loads of arm. I can stand it. Kaka, staple gun is a go, but nice stun through from Fada. Can they actually get the kill on the Kaka quick enough? It looks like they might be able to. He's getting pretty low. That's a slow coming through. He tries to cut the trees, but can't quick enough. First blood. And Faith, you don't want to hang around either. These right clicks do add up quickly. Oh, they got a stun. They're going to get a second kill. Yeah, they got that. All right. Fantastic start for Secret there. That was okay. I guess the reflection level one. <laughs> I was waiting for so long for them to swap, and they did not. They're going to hold to this. We judged them, and it was unfair to do so, because yes. they just proved us wrong. Court. This and is getting weirder. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, the thing is, if it works, you're genius. I mean, And if it doesn't, everybody blames you for taking the risk. But look at Yaps. He's, he's proven the genius. He's actually going to get killed on the Faith here. Can he actually get crossed? Yes, he can find the kill. Now he needs to get out. SCC can't do this, though, Father. He actually might turn on to SCC here. I mean, Secret of the ones for the surprise today. And oh, in the mid lane. Kaka, no escape for him. Slow, but Neville death. Uh, mid one's having a great, great mid lane here. Up to 14 CS, and he has some kills. Kind of start that you would like to see. <laughs> Gaps is like, just leave me alone to farm this. And finally farm mid one. Can I actually get the kill though? He summons his double, and the cards bounces favorably for them as a result. Now, look at the turnaround. Can they actually do this? A says, let's fight. They force the last two out onto him. SC, get it pretty low here. Same with Faith. Mid one, he's actually not bothered at all. We get the kill with Faith. SC does escape just in time. And I felt like you put almost everything onto that kill on Arc Warden, and you still walk away with nothing. I think this is the poorest we've ever seen a TB for good reason. But even even Poppy's got more gold than him at this point. So I, I kind of like this because I think getting, getting a little bit extra gold, a little bit extra level. Oh, I bought him though. Oh, yes. They're going to quickly melt through him. Yeah. I mean, we were just talking about him. Like, he's all the focus, and that's a good kill. At the moment, Sanking doesn't have that blink, so you've got no chance of a rebel reinitiation. He's getting close, though, up to 1600 gold. Oh, there's the epicenter coming through, but no follow up. Okay, I mean, you stop a tower push, I guess. I'm not sure it was too much concern. SC can just keep use that to sometimes escape again. If Open Wounds comes out, there's no way you can actually escape at all. It just feels like they're putting so much attention on this bot lane. I, I kind of like the fact that they brought mid one down here instead, and now they're just like yaps and you can start farming the mid lane. But look at this jumping in. Just saying, mid one bin is good. And actually, Faith, can he get away? He stole the bar strike, but look at the spirits that just chased it through. They'll find the kill as well. Mid one already unstoppable this stage. 6 0 3, and we're only 11 minutes into the game. He has had a very successful start on a hero that absolutely requires it. And Usually, it's the worry is, can your life still get ratings quick enough? Hell yes, this type of game. Mid one's just transferred some basic result. Now they're going to find more. They jump drain. Kaka. Goodbye. Puppy. The death one's still going. SC down half HP. They could just put down some spirits and maybe go for him. They want to go for the man. dive. Yep, they're going to go in. That's going to take a lot of damage, but they should be fine here. They've got the virus strike available. Now they just need to clean it up. And they do get the kill. But yeah. will make it out as well. I, I wasn't sure for a second there because mid was out of mana. He didn't have enough for the spark grave. Team C. This is not much that's gone wrong so far. Yeah, the Life Stealer already has that fully completed Radiance. So they're going to invade into this ancient area. This is huge for Mugi. Oh, catch him. Yeah, Mugi's a big kill from here. Oh, but nice steal. Sandstorm again. They're like, what? This is what I want. And then to jump in on Mugi. Nice last move coming out to hold up Life Stealer. And now Fada gets preload, but so is Faith. Nice use of the gaze. But Mugi's got no man to work with. He needs to be careful. He's going to force him away. Ace might turn around. There's a reflection coming in. Yaps looking for kill. KP getting low. We'll actually die off in the end. And now the rest of them should make it out. So Faith is so low. Faith. They don't know he's there, though. They're going to spot him. They've, they've got to see him there, right? No? They're, they're pinging. Yep. <laughs> the spark race. There it is. He accepts his fate. And now they're going to go for the Ancients themselves. This was... I think that's worth it. The, the Rubik's probably biggest concern, because you've got some big spells you could steal here that could turn things around. I mean, all it takes is a cast bouncing favorably, uh, and Dyer's suddenly a secret to a hero. I think Potter at this point is like, kills a kill. Oh, they find another one. KP, he's going to drag you back, but what's the point? You know it's going to come here, Kaka. And actually turn onto him. They're waiting for the bar strike. Two seconds. Kaka, it should be an easy kill. He sacrifices his life for his court. No! He's gonna save him to decrepify. Ace trying to chase through. Should still be able to get this though. Rage popped and off he goes. Now they're gonna chase for more. But it's like bar strike again, boys. You want more? Here it is. Served on a platter. Have yourself a small eternal undead child. 
They should put that into the top potion. Oh no, Moogie, force use the gaze. That is expensive because now Secret don't have to slow down. They go straight in, they find Faith, the Death Ward gets committed. Not sure it was really needed, but just to be safe. They are straight up getting overrun right now. Like how long, like if this continues, how long before? Now they're gonna get spotted. Mid one is invised up. They're gonna see everyone here. They jump on the puppy. Can they kill more quick enough? No, they can't. There's a jump through the epicenter's big cargo dead. And look, the last is doing nothing at the moment as you just get shredded through three dead already. In the meantime, Moogie, you need to run. You've got the mana back. TP out as fast as you can. They have got the stun though. Double kill for Ace and four dead on the side of Noobie. But it might be five. SC, he's trying to run away. He's trying to turn around the yacht. So there's a stun. He's like, it's okay. We can keep this going. Stun's coming off cooldown, but we don't even need it. The right click secure. And it's a team wipe. A secret, just a certain complete dominance so far. It's, I mean, this is at least going to be a tier two. I don't think you can push Radiant high ground yet. Yeah, the support Terra Blade is. I don't want to say that it's the reason why they're winning. I think there are other independent factors, but it's certainly not losing them the game. The apps are using the Spirit Vessel against the Pugna. Yeah. Not able to do anything during the life drain, and I'm around the back. These supports are uh, very edible. And all the cast bounces through. They're going to catch two. There it is. You're going to force start back, but Kaka's dead as well. And now you have hey, to keep Moogie in. Like, is this, what are they doing? You shouldn't be here right now. You've got the gaze, but you just need to use it defensively and move the hell away. But you can't. There's a lasso coming through. They actually stone off Ace. But look at this. It's just protected from the glimmer and all the sparks from the Devil War. But no one cares. The FP okay, said GG. They They've had enough 21 minutes in. And this feels like maybe our most one sided match so far today. That was something else. Newbie just did not look like they stood a chance at any point in that game. Secret rolled them so hard. All three of their cores got farmed. Nobody got pressured. Nobody got punished. That was incredibly well done. I mean, you know, Yaps is now going to be setting weird new standards for, for our pub games. But, I mean, how much credit do you give to this Terra play? Because he set up a fantastic lane. It was cool. I'm...